Coming up on Metro 5 this week, we celebrate a great and respected Nigerian, renowned professor of biology, Anya O. Anya, as he marked his 80th birthday. Also on the show, veteran journalist Salhaji Moshud Rotsimi Bisiriu is 60 and loving every moment of it. <laughs> And the wife of the governor of Oyo State, Mrs. Florence Ajumobi, also had her birthday. She marked it with a special Thanksgiving service in Oyo State. Here we are again. Welcome to our show. It's always a delight to present yet another edition of mm -hmm. Metrofile. Just a perfect way to start your weekend. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, come on. It's time for the show. And as you've seen earlier, we are celebrating great Nigerians yes, who, are, who are marking their birthday today. So it's going to be a great time on the show. So join us to celebrate them. Of course, they will. And hello, everyone. It's the Easter edition of Metrofile. Mm -hmm. So happy Easter. Yeah. It's a very special one this week, and we sure you will enjoy every moment of the show today. But to our sensitive viewers, some of the images you might be watching on the show today might just contain flash photography, but we always promise you, you'll enjoy every bit of it. Certainly. Trust me. I am Anne Umawadu. And I'm Ogi Chukwose. Let the party begin. He is an educationist, an administrator, a boardroom guru, a husband, a father, grandfather, and most importantly, a patriotic Nigerian. I present to you the latest octogenarian, a chartered biologist, and a renowned professor, Chief Anya O. Anya. Take a look. Professor Anya O. Anya is the latest octogenarian in town, and all these guests have come to celebrate with him. The celebration of his 80th birthday began with a cocktail. This party was put together by a committee of friends in honor of the renowned scholar who is a professor of biological science and who has mentored many. The occasion was declared opened by the chairman of the planning committee, Mr. Udeme so, Ufot. This is a meeting to celebrate this man of great accomplishments. To say to him, you are a man of value. You are an asset to our country. And you are a man that we cannot look forward to and look up to and say, yes, you have inspired us. And that probably, if this country can boast a few more men, with your values and with your character, that probably our country will today be a better place. You agree with me? The cheerful looking professor is all smiles on this special day, accompanied by his wife of over 50 years, Lady Inyang. They enjoyed every moment. The Lagos City Choral entertained everyone with smooth renditions of some evergreen songs.
Dignitaries from all walks of life were in attendance to honor him. The list includes Nigeria's former head of state, who was the chairman of the occasion, retired General Yakubu Gawan, former vice president, retired Commodore Ebutu Okiwe, former secretary general of the Commonwealth, Chief Emekan Yoko, former governor of Ogun State, Chief Ulushe Gwashoba, former chief of naval staff, Alison Madweke, retired Navy Captain Emmanuel Henacho, boardroom guru Oba Otudeko, and the former governor of Cross River State, Mr. Donald Duke, and his wife, Onari. Others are founder of the Center for Values and Leadership, Professor Pauti Tommy, elder statesman, Chief Ayuadi Banjo, publisher of the Vanguard newspapers, Mr. Sam Amuka, former chairman of the Punch newspaper, Chief Ajibola Ogunshola, and wife, Iyabo, and the former chairman of the Nigerian Human Rights Commission, Professor Chidiodin Kalu, who reviewed the celebrant's latest book titled, Time, Thoughts, and Ideas, a two-volume book of 840 pages made up of selected papers presented by the professor. And there are five themes that you will get in these papers. One is leadership, and it is not an accident that the, the, bright, uh, the brightest of Nigerian leaders are here this evening. The second is values, the values that underpin leadership. The third is human capital development. The fourth is education, and the fifth is science, engineering, and technology, and all of these he argues coherently and links very rigorously in the, paper, in, in the volume. The book review was followed by the official launch, which was conducted by Mr. Donald Duke. None of us here, if we were not told, would accept him as an 80-year-old. so <laughs> And the reason why he lives or looks this good is because he's also an expert at moderation. He does not seek what he does not need. He's content with life. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this book, whom we are all privileged to present to the audience here and beyond, Times, Thoughts and Ideas, selected papers of Professor Aya Oaya is hereby presented to all of us, to posterity, for the betterment of our society and for future generations. I thank you. And that was followed by goodwill messages from the eminent guests. I'm honored to be here to welcome Professor Aya Oaya to the League of Octogenarians. Before I'm accused of being partial, let me also warmly and sincerely welcome people of every other age bracket to this event, especially the younger ones who masterminded this memorable occasion to honor their hero, their icon. Professor Anya O. Anya. Professor Anya's impressive public service through a career in both academia and in the bureaucratic world leaves no one in doubt that he has been an outstanding asset to Nigeria and indeed to Africa at large. In General Dibalo, the day we formed NADECO, a lot of people now have turned NADECO into what the military call uh, ORE. Every military officer will say, I fought in ORE. Every stupid politician now says, we were NADECO. I was NADECO. I was in exile. And you never went on exile. He stayed put throughout and fought throughout. God bless you. The restructuring that Ambassador Ayoko is preaching will be in the, in the lifetime of all of us in Jesus' name. Lots of accolades for the celebrant, which was then followed by the toast to good health, conducted by Mr. Sam Amuka.
the well-respected Professor Anya O. Anya became a professor at the age of 36. He has impacted knowledge into so many respected and well-placed Nigerians who are today doing well in their various fields. His exploits are not only felt in the academic world, but also in corporate Nigeria, where he sits on the board of many reputable companies. He is currently the pro-chancellor of the Michael Okwara University of Agriculture, Umudike, and the chairman of the Alpha Institute. We celebrate with him on this special day and wish him all the best. A great Nigerian indeed. Indeed, and I'm sure the Abriba people of Abia State mm -hmm. and indeed all Nigerians are very proud of him. Definitely. So congratulations to you, sir. We wish you the very best.